a friend here training out in the park today and give her a minute. <laughs> Good. Go up that way, look. When we start out, you'll see, actually just watch her head and watch what she's doing. Very lucky. Uh, when we started screaming for all the other horses, she would not do anything on her right side. It's very stiff. Look, there was a wall right here. Um, so I want to show you, instead of letting her continue to do that and just look around and kind of do whatever she wants, I started asking her to soften to me. And if she's soft in my hands, I'll be soft back. So I, I left it like this to show you what she wants to do. And usually that leads to a little bit more animation and uh, emotional status changing to scattered. So I started asking her to just walk along soft. You'll see, she pulls once in a while, but I just hold. Ask her to just soften and walk with me. Think of me rather than everything else that's out here. So while I'm doing this, I'll also ask for a couple of side soft passes here. And then I'll lift this rein, and this was completely not there a half hour ago. You see it's still a little rusty. But if I lift up, she'll now soften and move. So it's a good time to actually work on everything while you're out on trail, right? Once you, you know, have the communication there, then you see right there, she wants to pop her head up. So I just ask her to know, please stay with me. Don't worry about that log or whatever it is that's out that direction that you were just looking at. Just stay with me. And then I can control how fast she's walking because she's right there, I'll hold. When she does that, I'll release. Okay, that's gonna come forward. Right, and drop that head, and drop that head. Good, stick with me, don't worry, I got it. She don't have to worry about all that stuff if she sticks with me. Head down, thank you very much. Please walk with your head down, nice and collected, thinking of me, rather than walking along, thinking of things you can spook over. And uh, maybe it's not a complete spook, but it's something that just gets her upset and makes the ride not fun. This becomes fun when it can be this light, soft, Right? And then going the other way, nice and soft. Now I feel like I have a horse that's thinking and not just instinctively out here. And there, nice and soft. And we just walk along, and the more successful rides I can have like this, the more she'll just drop that head and walk along without being upset. So I hope you got something out of this, and see you next time.